everyone. Exam Technique Blast. Steve here. Let's look at the Performance Management Specimen Exam from September 2016. Question 13. This is on the throughput accounting ratio. Quite a tricky question. You guys have a look at this question. Question 13. Give it a try, then we'll do it together. Alrighty, my approach. First of all, it's four rows. Lots of data buried in these sentences. The topic, everybody, is throughput accounting ratio. I would consider this a difficult question and potentially flag it and come back later, depending on how I was doing, what stage of the exam I was in. But then when I come back, it's time to do it. So I'm not going to get lost in that big paragraph. What I'm going to do is remember the formula through put accounting ratio is equal to through put contribution per hour over what everybody other factory costs per hour so you must know that formula going into the exam then we can drill down into that and you know right, how to let's calculate look at the numerator the and the denominator ratio. we need the Throughput contribution would be the price minus the materials divided by what? The hours on the bottleneck. Other factory cost per hour, everybody, that will be the overheads plus the labor spend divided by the total hours of bottleneck resource. So, very important to make a shopping list before you go into that big question, just like you make a shopping list before you go to the supermarket. And I found the variables I need. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. So I am going shopping for six variables. The selling price, the direct material cost, hours on the bottleneck, the overheads, cost of labor, and the total bottleneck hours in the period. So, we can find all these variables if we read slowly. Four hours, everybody. Machine time is the bottleneck. So we found the hours. Ten machines, twelve hours a day five days a week. That's the total bottleneck hours in a week. So, first variable, second variable found. Selling price, 130. Direct material, 50. Okay, price, direct materials. Now, here is the tricky part of this question, everybody. The other factory costs in this question are expressed at a unit level, not at a period cost, as is usual. Okay. So, what do we know so far? We know one thirty minus fifty. divided by 4 over 10 times 12 times 5. Okay, now the tricky part here, you guys. Labor is $40 per unit. Overheads are $20 per unit. So we have an overhead absorption rate there. And these costs are based on weekly production and sales of 150 units, everybody. So the last thing to do will be we have 150 weekly units multiplied by a $40 per unit overhead absorption rate, $20 per unit labor cost, direct labor cost, so there we build up the weekly 
other factory costs. Plug those into your trusty calculator. You will get a 1.33. Answer is a... There you have it, guys. Throughput accounting ratio, a tricky topic, but with practice, you will be able to do it with little trouble and pass this challenging exam. Good luck, guys.